Anyone have any questions? In the back? Why did you choose to contribute uh, to Wikipedia? What was your motivating factors? Well, um, as mentioned, I'm an emergency physician, which means I do shift work. Um, and I've, I generally work in small, I've primarily worked in smaller areas. Uh, so in the middle of the night, come 2, 3 in the morning, often my emergency department will be dead. Nobody there. Um, and I was sort of looking online and I came across this page in Wikipedia that was really quite bad. Um, and then I noticed I could fix it. And I sort of got hooked um, at that point. And you know, it's, um, I've found that it's a great way to get involved with academics, even if you're out in the middle of nowhere. So that, that, that's the draw to me. You know, we have an academic community. There's a core group of physicians on Wikipedia who are interested in you know, going over the academic research and interested in writing academic articles. So I have a community there of academics when I'm, you know, 4,000 kilometers from UBC or whatever it is. Yes? Because of that, in the early days, um, Wikipedia got a bad name in academic circles in terms of credibility. Mm -hmm. A lot of concerns about students just downloading without verifying. Mm -hmm. I think the yeah, attitudes have changed fairly dramatically over time, but I'm just wondering if you actively been trying to deal with that issue. Well, you know, the we're hoping people are learning more about Wikipedia as time comes time goes on. You know, Wikipedia is not a suitable source to you know to reference in academic papers. Um, uh, it's a starting point. Um, it's where you get an overview of the topic. Uh, you know, we at Wikipedia wouldn't reference ourselves. Um, you know, you need to reference. You know, you need to reference the published, peer-reviewed literature. So, you know, people who have gotten into trouble are the ones who have used Wikipedia inappropriately. You know, you have the odd journalist who, you know, finds something on Wikipedia, copy and pastes it, uses it verbatim, doesn't follow up. Um, as academics, as journalists, you have an obligation to verify your sources. And the people who have gotten into trouble are the ones who haven't verified their sources. So, you know, with respect to efforts we've done to address this, you know, we're trying to get academics on board. You know, we realize that there's issues with the quality of Wikipedia. Um, you know, there are a number of safeguards that maintain that quality, but we're, we're still a small group of volunteers. We need greater um, uh, involvement of the, of the global academic community to make Wikipedia the source we wish it to be. I'm wondering if you could, you mentioned briefly some of the kind of cultural challenges, like for people, for example, getting negative feedback when they start out editing on that. I wonder if you might share some details on the kinds of things people might expect or things they might want to avoid if they're going to start editing Wikipedia and would like to avoid that kind of abuse. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, the, the primary thing that brings people into trouble is they show up and they add their own personal opinion without providing references to reliable sources. And that will get what you've added quickly reverted and possibly a little note on your talk page, you know, advising you to use um, uh, references from that point on. The other thing that commonly gets people in, into trouble is, you know, they work for a charity. They say, hey, Wikipedia gets a ton of views. I'm going to add links to my charity to every page that's even tangentially related on Wikipedia those people quickly find themselves blocked or banned from Wikipedia. You know, we're not here to be a list of external links to other people's web pages. Yes, there's all these great charities out there, but Wikipedia isn't a compilation of, uh, of charities. So th those sorts of things will get people into trouble. And then, of course, obvious conflict of interest, such as when you know, pharmaceutical companies come and they remove negative comments about their pharmaceuticals that are well-referenced. That will get you into trouble as well. <laughs>